What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this tutorial, we're gonna show you guys how to record and stream Minecraft. And I know this video maybe looks like it came out of the blue, but Minecraft recently became really popular again. Like PewDiePie started playing it, tons of other YouTubers start playing it. So I thought like, if you guys would like to record videos in Minecraft or stream it, why not just go ahead and show you guys how it's done in OBS. And this video is brought to you by a good friend of mine, Michael uh, from our Discord, link is in the description. Uh, if you want to check out his channel, he did a great job and I'll, I always support new talent. If you have good equipment and you are understandable and you, you can record in 1080p, I'm obviously just giving you a chance if you want to upload on my channel for a tutorial. I'm always supporting new talent like I've mentioned. Make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and start off. So Michael, take it away. All right, so let's get into this tutorial. So what you want to do is create a new scene. Basically, in OBS, I'm using the 23.2.1, 64-bit on Windows. First of all, you go down where you have scenes and you have one scene created. You want to click plus sign and then you want to click Minecraft and type it in here. So enter the name. It doesn't care how you spell it. It's just easier to organize everything. Basically, in scenes, you can create how many you want. This is good for streams. You can have like... A welcome sign right here. If you go into Minecraft, you can click on this plus sign in sources. Then you can use display capture or you can use game capture. Display capture is this. It basically captures everything you have inside of your monitor. So if you bring up Minecraft, you will have it around here where you drag it. This is pretty good if you want to like record your screen like this. But when it comes to Minecraft or other games in general, you want to use the game capture. So if we pl place this in game capture, we can type this as Minecraft with small letters because we already have one that is large letters. Then we can cl uh, click on capture specific window. Uh, it's always easier to choose. We want to find Java. .exe or Minecraft and the version you're using. These settings right here, they are nothing that you should care about. You should only click OK. Launch up Minecraft once. So you want to click on plus sign down here. Click on game capture. Minecraft doesn't even matter how you type it, just as it isn't the same as in scenes. Then you click OK. So you want to have it uh, visible. Capture specific window and find Minecraft 1.14. Here it opens. Now I have it in small Minecraft as you can see. What you can do is basically I'm going to full screen this on my other monitor. If I'm now full screened, you have Minecraft inside side of this. So we're going to be using Hypixel for this one. Okay, so right now it's all working. Right now it says 18 FPS. It's because I'm in full screen. But for people that has a pretty bad computer, what you click is go out of full screen and then you will have a lot more FPS. But what you do is basically go on here and you drag this up. I used this for over two years. The quality is okay. I would say it's better in the video than in just like the preview screen right here. This is just one way of doing it. If you're able to, I would recommend on using full screen. It's always it's better to use a full screen than what it is to use mini window. So what you can click if you want to stream and have a video capture device like a webcam, there is this video capture device right here in the plus sign. We're going to call it webcam right in my background right here. As you can see my face right here, I'm going to uh, pull over. There we go. Click OK. You have a webcam. If it's lagging, you go into properties, configure video. You can go to camera control right here and then and then it's like a special light right there uh, that you click it's like like configuration and then there you have a webcam if you have like a background like me and you want to use it you can click on filters and effect filters right here uh, you basically right click the source click filter then down here you will have a special crop and pad and then you just click that then you can click on this to make it go inwards so it doesn't seem like you have anything else in the background so like i would normally go for like a hundred like that and then write a hundred there you go that's about it that, that's like a background of it you don't really need to do anything else. Right now, my background is only this little screen I have. To enable and disable everything, you click right here. So you have a webcam source of audio, uh, but we're not going to be using that. To add audio, if you don't have a mixer or anything, you click the plus sign, audio input capture, and then call it microphone if you want to sort it out. I'm going to choose my uh, line audio box USB because I have an XLR microphone because sometimes the audio will look like this. Now, this is not the best audio ever, so we're going to be fixing that. Basically, click on this cogwheel 
into advanced audio properties and then you click Dynamix to uh, mono and this basically makes it so both of them so you can hear it in both left and the right ear otherwise you would only be able to hear it in the right ear but yeah you control this audio with the slider you can put it at infinite minus decibel or you can put it at zero decibel which means basically the audio comes a little bit clearer Th this is really good uh, when you choose this you can go with basically game sound so if you have like two headsets plugged in which I don't so what you always want to do when you have a webcam as well is keep it above the game otherwise it will look like this boom and then you can't see it so you always want to keep the webcam overlaid towards your Minecraft then you have like this a game sound and microphone these are just basically anywhere they're not going to be viewed on the screen which means it's no real problem you are now ready to record you have a game sound you have a microphone i'm going to show you the best filters these filters you can just add it's a compressor banner gain invert uh, polarity limiter noise get noise uh, and suppression basically all these plugins can be enabled you don't have to mess around with it to get a better and clearer mic these are personally the settings that i use sometimes it's a little bit weirder to use it because it matters of a microphone i'm using xlr so i have control over a soundboard and uh, well sound cards you guys will most likely have a headset blue snowball, blue yeti and such like that. It's not often a lot of people use an XLR when they're just starting out. So you can go to settings. These are um, some pretty basic settings. If you want to have it looking like this because most likely it would look like, it will most likely look like this from the start or something close to it. What you do is click dark and default and then it's basically dark around the edges. You can change the language to any language you want. I usually have it in my own language. But yeah, this is not thing really you have to care about. Go to stream if you want to stream it. You go to YouTube gaming then on the link you can basically go on your youtube channel find the link it's like live streaming and then there's a uh, if you scroll to the bottom live stream now there's a stream key which you reveal copy and paste it inside of here it's pretty easy to find it if you need help with it just comment down below and we'll help you out as much as possible if you go into output output mode can be advanced which is better per se but you don't really have to use it what i would recommend uh for a bit rate is if you go into your if we say now i'm gonna use Use Firefox to open this up. So what you want to do is search up speed test in your browser. All right, so speed test on now. I think this link will be in the description. You can see that this is about my download speed and soon the upload speed will come up on the screen and when the upload screen is coming on the screen you can basically multiply it by 100 though I would recommend you're using yeah you can see 50 basically if I had 5 it would come up to 500 now it's 5000 now it's 7 uh, 7400 basically like that you just want to keep on monitoring it in your head it's pretty decent you want to have at least 13 it's 1300 bit rate I'm going to keep it around 9000 well 9000 is what I normally go for uh, these are the best settings for me everybody has a different matters of your internet connection if your stream starts lagging you basically want to turn this down a bit down here you see recording that was just for streaming this is recording what you want to do is find a new place so have it sorted like start up a new folder so what you want to do I have a special D drive so I want to go in here and I want to go with create a new folder and call it Minecraft videos you see I have it in Swedish settings but it's basically the same thing you want to select the map now it's in Minecraft videos it will generate it you don't really have to have anything any settings right here in this settings you have base canvas resolution which is what you want to do for worse computers you want to have 1280 by 720 but you should always have a 1920 by 1080 selected and go into out uh, output scale resolution so basically this is the canvas but this is the scale resolution which means you can choose either way I can choose a 36 uh, 640 by 360 but what I normally go for is 1080p 1920 by 1080 down here you can see I have a Bible sharpened um, scaling 16 samples hotkeys this is basically uh, pretty easy for starting streaming I'm going to put delete and then delete so every time I press N now the video will start so we have delete here for starting to stream and we have start uh, start recording and stop stream uh, stop recording as N button if I press these again I start uh, stop recording on my other video you could show and hide Minecraft if we put it's like yeah I want to show Minecraft I can put this as one hide Minecraft is also one this is nothing that we need into that advanced section there's not much that you need to do it's basically just direct. You can have process priority, so you can basically have the highest, and you can have normal, you have the low normal and idle. This is just how good your computer is, but it's really nothing that you need to worry about. All of this is pretty nice. Everything works. This is the best uh, settings that I use for video recording. Um, I normally go for 1080p, 60fps, but it's all working. If you record a file, you can see with it that it's working. I'm inside Minecraft right now. You can see me moving around. Wait, oh Jesus. You can see me moving around right now. 
Minecraft is being buggy since it's on Hypixel. I can go and actually enable my webcam as well. This should be on your screen right now. Hello there. You can see that I'm moving around. I'm talking at the same time that the audio is playing and it's working perfectly. Yeah, that's what uh, that is what I have to show for this video. Let's go to the outro. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much, Michael, for recording this video. His channel is linked in the description and I will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video.